can't beat Sunday morning in bed, can you? Uh, especially since we've been here since Saturday afternoon. <laughs> so, are we going to then or not? Well, again. You know what we've spent half the night talking about. Yeah, could do, I suppose. Well, don't sound too keen. Well, no, it's, it's a day out. Ashley, we've got to get married for better reasons than to have a day out. Well, shall we then? Well, as we've bought the rings, it'd be a bit of a waste if we don't use them. Yeah, but it'll just be a, a low-key affair, eh? Well, I think after last time, it'll have to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we are married, there'll be no more lip, right? I'll expect a proper bit of deference as Lord and Master. As what? Oh, well, yeah. Yes, yeah, you'll have to walk four paces behind me as we go down the street. <laughs> you know, that'll just be as a, a sign of respect. Yeah. Oh, and my word will be law. OK? So, meek and humble. We'll have a bit of that, I think. Oh, will we? Yeah. Oh, and you'll have to do wifely things, too, like um, sew buttons on my socks. So don't forget, will you? <gasps> ah! Ah! Oh, no, Ellen, don't pull the hairs on my legs. <laughs> what were you saying, Ashley? Oh, nothing. Look, I'll bring you breakfast in bed every day, twice on Sundays. And walk four steps behind me? Yeah, a hundred yards. Anything, stop it. <laughs> Good. Might as well start off as we mean to go on. <laughs> if I had a hole in my scone for every time you've been getting married, we'd be eating crumpets, wouldn't we, Colin? <laughs> uh, yes, dear. <laughs> You're getting like that fable about the boy who went woof. Cried wolf, Lillian. <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway, I'm glad you two have decided to make yourselves respectable at last. And it's about time you started a family, Ashley. Well, we have been practising. <laughs> <laughs> Nappies aren't getting any cheaper. And Mrs Buckley down the road, she was a grandmother at 40. Yeah, not that she wanted to be, though. <laughs> I'll never be able to catch up with her now. <laughs> so, is your father giving you away, Elaine? Well, I thought I might just give myself away, Mrs. Phillips. I see. <laughs> DIY at the registry office again, is it? Oh, um, yeah. Well, I hope you'll condescend to be there this time after the last fracas. Still. I'll be able to wear my hat again. You mean you've still got it? Well, of course I've still got it, Ashley. Now, what do you think I'd have done with it? Oh, I was hoping maybe you'd uh, put it up in a cattery. <laughs> oh, and I'll polish up my speech, Ashley. Oh, great, then. I've got some new jokes. <laughs> I suppose registry offices are better than nothing, but they've got no atmosphere. I mean, weddings every 15 minutes, it's like going through a revolving door. Still, I suppose a quick in and out is all you can expect these days. Lucky to get even that sometimes. <laughs> so, if you're naming the day, which day have you named? Oh, well, we haven't arranged anything yet, Mum. I've got to go down to the registry office. Oh. Oh, well, do try and make it a weekend, Ashley, and then we'll all be able to go. And what would you like for a wedding present? Oh, well, well, nothing really. I mean, we'll leave that up to you. Oh. Well, in that case, we might buy them a little pram. What do you think, <laughs> I don't know about your mum, though, Ashley. For someone who isn't keen on sex, she's pretty hot on babies. I don't know how she thinks you get one without the other. There's only sex before marriage she disapproves of. Sex before babies is all. <laughs> well, how did you get on the registry list? Ah, not so good. They're all booked up. Till when? For the next three months. Can't get a weekend fixture anywhere. Three months? I'll be an old woman in three months. Well, so will I. <laughs> Now, if we did it midweek, we could get married on Wednesday, but if we want a Saturday, well... Oh, I've no idea they were so busy. No, neither had I. I never thought so many people wanted to get married. Oh, yeah, everyone's doing it now. Living in sins out. It's trendy to be respectable. And there was nothing at all? Well, you might get a cancellation, but you can't bank on it. No chance of a church wedding, I suppose. Well, with our record. The last time we went to church was to get candles during that power cut. <laughs> 
I just have to wait then. Oh, it's all keyed up too. I got my garter out of the bottom drawer and everything. Look. <laughs> Actually, so did I. I had that in the cubs. <laughs> I was going to wear it during our wedding night. What? The little short trousers as well. That would be a turn on. <clears throat> You don't know anyone who could marry us sooner, do you? You know, somebody in the trade. What, you mean sort of a backstreet vicar with a lock-up garage does when he's on the cheap? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, because we've waited this long, another few months won't make any difference. Hold on. Cousin Vincent, he could do it. Who? Cousin Vincent. But it would mean a trip down to Cornwall. Well, that's all right. We could make a weekend of it. Is he a vicar, then? Has he got his own church? Not exactly. Well, what has he got? That would be telling. <laughs> I must get a roll of film for my camera. Mm. Oh, you're not taking your camera, Dad. Well, you'll want some snaps of your wedding. Yeah. Well, not the speech and the camera, then. He's right, Colin. There are only so many hours in the day, and you know what you're like with that camera. We'll be watching little birdies till their eggs hatch out. <laughs> All right, then. I won't take it. Who else have you asked along? Well, there's Elaine's parents and Grandad, of course. With or without the pensioner's delight? <laughs> well, I can't ask Purse and not ask Joyce, can I? They've been going out together for every year. Oh, well, Joyce ought to be at home by the seaside. Her and her fishnets. <laughs> I'm sure she's caught plenty in them in her day. <laughs> Brought me home car down there. She said we can stay on for a few days after. Oh, right, OK. Well, we can get a convoy going. Ashley, we ought to be leaving. Where's your mum and dad? They should be here. Hey, that's them now. <laughs> oh, May, look at that. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Hello, Ashley. You've gone into the furniture removal business. I've only brought a change of wardrobe, Ashley, that's all. Change of wardrobe, chest of drawers. <laughs> Shall we make a move? Or are we going to stand here all day making sarcastic remarks? Yes, come on, and we'll get stuck in the traffic. Right, well, why don't you follow us, because we've got the map. Yeah. Come on, Joyce. Oh, Randy, when you are, love. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, all that stuff, it'll take them ages to unload. I know. Still, they won't have to stop and go to the loo. I think I spotted one in the back. <laughs> right. Wagons, roll! Settle in there, bed and breakfast, all right then, Ashley? Yeah, I think so. Well, mind you, my dad's still unloading the car. Yeah, by the time he's unloaded that lot, be time to go home, I reckon. <laughs> oh, here she is. Elaine, we're over here. Hi. Oh, Vincent, this is Elaine. Elaine, Vincent. Pleased to meet you. Hello. Look at your drink. So you're going to make an honest man of him at last, eh? Well, someone has to. I was just sent to Ashley, Elaine. Last time I saw him, he was no eye than my Wellingtons. And <laughs> he weren't much cleaner, either. Yeah, he was, yeah. yeah, they all used to come down here for their holidays. <laughs> him and his brother. Happy as clams, they were. Oh, they were lovely days, Vince, really. Yeah, I've got you another. Oh, proper job. Right there. Uh, wedding bell arrangements, then, is it? <laughs> now, about tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I haven't actually married anyone before. I mean, I buried a chap at sea once, and I must have done a fair job of that, because he, he never came back. <laughs> and I read the book a bit, but not having a legal tune of mind. Well, there's not going to be any problems, is there? Because, I mean, you said on the phone it seemed fairly straightforward. Oh, no, no, there's, there's no problems as such, but I reckon, well, dry land is sort of 
outside my jurisdiction, like. So we're going to have to do it at sea? Yeah, that'll be favourite. What? Well, no, that's all right, isn't it? Because that makes it more memorable, then. More sort of an occasion. Yes. And, and just to get it on solid ground, like legal speak, I thought we'd best get outside the three-mile limit. Proper job. Then we can uh, cut the engine and splice a knot, like. Yeah, right, fine. So, what time should we set off? Well, if you can be at the docks for, say, 5.30... Because <laughs> <laughs> we've got to allow time to get home. Oh, 5.30 in the morning, actually. In the morning? Oh, yeah. We've got to catch the tide, Elaine. I don't reckon it'll wait for us. Well, looks like we're going to have to have an early night. Yeah, that'd be favourite. Oh, what about your boat, Vince? Are you still chartering that cabin cruise? Oh, you wait till you see it, Elaine. It's like a floating mansion. Oh, no, I, I got rid of that one, Ashley. I got out of that game. I got tired of grockles. They get on my tit. <laughs> so, what are you running these days, then? A trawler. Let's <laughs> <laughs> drop that. I'll get you another. Yeah, that'll be favourite. A trawler, Ashley. We're getting married in a trawler. I didn't know he'd gone into fishing. Well, you could have asked. You mean he could have told me? I'm a vegetarian. I don't even eat fish. So what do you want to do? Get married in a frozen pea factory? <laughs> getting married in a floating abattoir. Are you sure he's a registered captain? Yes. He's commanded oil tankers and cargo liners, everything. Look, I know it's not what we expected, but, well, it's different, isn't it? And getting married at sea? Well, it's quite romantic, really. Well, let's hope so. Hello, Dad. Oh, hello, Ashley. Do you need a hand? No, I can manage. It's the last of it now. Just get this in, and then I'll, uh, go for a drink. Carly! Night, Dad. Night, Ashley. Night, Elaine. Night. Trawler would, wouldn't it? Wouldn't you first suggest you getting married at sea? I have visions of the Ark Royal or something. Well, at least it's different, isn't it? Makes it a day to remember. Oh, I won't forget it in a hurry. Oh, Ashley, look. What? Your mum. Look at her hat. <laughs> Hello, Mum. You opening a fruit stall? Happy hat, Mrs. Phillips. Thank you, Elaine. It's just my old one. But I've had it redressed. Well, at least we won't go hungry if we're shipwrecked. Right? <laughs> Which boat is Vince's again, Ashley? Um, that one. What? It's a trawler. <laughs> Where's Dan? Oh, he's coming with his new toy. Right, close in together, everybody. You two, you little, and your hat. Smile, everybody. Wave. Ashley. Dad, I thought you weren't going to bring your camera. I didn't, Ashley. I hired this video for the weekend instead. <laughs> on the same note. Purse will be along in a second. <laughs> Vince! Hello, love, how are you? Here, have you got any fisherman's friends? <laughs> grass, Colin. Solid grass. Brazen as bedsteads, that one. <laughs> All right, everyone. Hope I haven't kept you waiting. What's the birdie? Ashley, seeing as we're going to cast off, uh, I thought I'd throw a line over the side. Don't mind it. You don't think I'm 
think any of them have actually remembered that we're getting married today, do you? I've got my doubts. Yeah, so have I. Very strong doubts about what I'm marrying into. I mean, your family, Ashley, they're so self-centred. Who are they? Well, at least they bothered to turn up, which is more than yours have. That's not fair. They said they'd be here and they will. They've probably just got stuck in a traffic jam. Elaine! Elaine, we made it! Hello, everyone. Sorry we're late. Garlin, it's Mr. and Mrs. Walker. Hello, Dad. Hello, darling. Oh. Hello, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Phillips. All on board. This is me crew here, Chris and Mike. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I brought you some life jackets, if you wouldn't mind. Toby shit like. Right then, let me give you a hand. Life jackets? I always wanted to get married wearing a life jacket. Well, we'll take them off for the photographs. We're all right until we start getting married. Then it all just goes sour. Wedding tackle to me. I beg your pardon, Mum. Those two. The crew. What they're wearing. Not exactly dressed for a wedding, are they? You'd think they were out for a day's fishing. Yeah. When your father and me got married, Ashley, we had a white Rolls Royce. Still, I suppose a chauffeur driven trawler is unique in its own way. <laughs> Smile, please. Big smiles. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Oh, I love this. Oh, Joyce. Love. All right. Hey, listen, I just thought I'd ask you, do you think we could park for a bit? You know, because I'd like, I'd like, like to bathe, top up the tank, you know. All oh, right, yeah, are, Joyce. Uh, if there's time, then we'll see how the weather bears up. <laughs> You're going to watch your seaweed, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. We'll be stopping, as a matter of fact, any minute. Um, you think you could take the wheel for a minute? I want to talk to Ashley. Yeah, but yeah, I've never driven a boat before. Well, you can manage. Well, I'll have a go then if you show me. Smile, Lillian. Oh, not right now, Colin. I feel a little queasy. <laughs> Ashley, Elaine, we're in the three mile now. Oh, right. So you're going to say the few words, eh? Oh, yeah, I thought we'd drop a trawl first, if you don't mind. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, a, a lovely shoal just come up on the sonar like. It'd be a pity to miss it. <laughs> no, wait a minute, Vince. I thought we'd come out here so as we could get married. Not so as you could go fishing. Oh, yeah, that'd be favourite, like, but not with a cost of diesel, like. Well, it'd be a pity to miss it. It's, it's not economic if I don't take a few tiddlers home. No. Well, in that case, we don't mind at all, do we? No. No. I know you'd understand. <laughs> it won't take long. <laughs> OK, boys, get the nets ready. Uh oh, uh, the decks can get a bit slippery when we start hauling in. So I've got some Wellingtons in the cabin, if you'd like them. <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's get at it. Getting better by the minute, isn't it? There was me thinking I wasn't enjoying it. And I'm really glad I came now. <laughs> I'll get us some Wellingtons. <laughs> oh, now, Lillian. What now, Colin? I'm going to be unwell. Pass! Hat over boards! <laughs> oh, all right. I'll hook it in. Hang on. <laughs> Excuse me, Colin. But I'm going to be unwell again. <laughs> Don't do it on your hat, Lillian. <laughs> you have made the declaration prescribed by law, and you have made a solemn and bonding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses. I now pronounce you... Mind the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride.
OK, well, let's get home and celebrate, then. I reckon we've all had a good day's catch. Perth, get the champagne. Everybody champagne! <laughs> <laughs> Vincent? Yes, my lover. We were wondering about signing the register. Oh, yeah? What register is that, then? Well, you know, we were wondering about our marriage certificate. Yeah? Yeah. As in, have you got it, Vincent? Oh. What is it? Is that my department, then? Well, we thought maybe it was, yes. Oh, no, Ashley, I, I thought you'd be handling that one. Well, we thought it was your responsibility, Vincent. And if we hadn't signed the register, how do we get the certificate? Well, I could uh, jot you a note on the, on the back of an envelope. <laughs> so it uh, tied you over till you got home like, wouldn't it? Is that actually legally binding? Oh, I see what you mean. You mean you don't know? Well, I haven't done it before, Elaine. I, I'm not familiar with it. I mean best thing would be to have this one for ceremonial like then when you get home just pop into the registry office and have it done again for form's sake <laughs> be on the safe side <laughs> that'd be favorite you mean we've come all the way down here and we're not even married nice drop that <laughs> let's get me fish wade um, oh <laughs> me and the boys bought your present like little souvenir of the happy occasion <laughs> here you be Oh, lovely. What is it? Lobster chop. So you can make it into a, a lamp or something. Oh, you know all the rage in London? That right? Yeah. Proper job. Yes. It'll be favourite. <laughs> Well, everyone seemed to enjoy the weekend. Even my mum. When she got home, she found out she'd lost half a stone. I can't tell people we're not married. Not again. I'm too embarrassed. Oh, me too. Should we get married on the quiet? Yeah, sometime during the week. I'll get an hour off work. Tell them I've got to go to the dentist or something. Yeah. I know. I'll pretend I'm sick. Well, why pretend? <laughs> well, we've really gone and done it this time. At last. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. Thought I was going to die a spinster. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have a camera? Or would you like me to take a photo of the happy couple? Oh, y yes, right, thanks. <laughs> uh, one with your friends. Friends? Are you witnesses? Oh, yes, of course. Um, sorry, would you mind coming to be in the photograph? Would you mind? Thanks. Oh, that's it. That's lovely. And a bit of confetti for atmosphere. Smile! <laughs> And there's more tomorrow at 7.30. Next here on Plus, it's Minder and Nigel Davenport, who's the guest star today, appeared in a TV version of Dracula. It's a plus point with teeth. <laughs>